Good afternoon. We are here with the After the Fledge crowd. And it's a lively crowd. <laughs> Hello from Decora. Um, so we are over by the new N3 nest. And, um, you know, we're, it's, it's been a long time. We figured it's just about time that folks uh, locally and, and everybody else uh, got to see a little bit more about where the Decor Eagles went, these world-famous eagles that so many millions of people have watched over the years. So, so we're going to do a quick little tour here, and we are going to put a spotting scope. We'll see what happens, but we are uh, um, not too far from the Decora Clinic, Gunderson Clinic, and the Walmart parking lot here, and there's a really nice uh, trail here, uh, uh, the, uh, the Trout Run Trail entrance, and just going to kind of show you guys, pan over here. Um, we might see some bikers in a little bit, but the, the trail is over there, and the parking lot and entrance is over here. So, uh, just going to give you a quick, uh, quick little inter interview uh, update here as to what we saw here when we did this uh, this morning. So when we came here this morning, just as we were leaving the hatchery, Mom Decora took off off the tree. And that's obviously when the osprey came back, because the osprey won't come and try to fish if an eagle is there. Um, so anyway, so we left to come over here and do this tour, and as soon as we got here, Mom Decora was in the tree. So she just, she's playing playing games and helping us out here. So we'll see what happens this time if we get lucky. But mom was there and then all of a sudden DM2 showed up in the dead tree that we'll take a look at a little bit later. And then after DM2 showed up, just as we were packing up and getting ready to leave, uh, the, uh, the young, probably D37, D38, or D39, two of them showed up and were food begging and running up to the nest. And I'm not sure if they got fed or not, but we'll see. Um, it's hard to tell. We don't have a camera on this nest, so we can't verify some of that stuff unless somebody's actually over here on the trail, either uh, you know taking photos or watching and giving us their report. We can hear the young, so we might hear young eagles food begging. So we'll kind of wait and see what we find out here. But uh, we're going to take a walk over there, and I'll just take a quick. Uh, uh, give you a little quick intro here as to, to what happened. So we got some bikers coming through and that's pretty no normal around here but uh, so uh, basically what happened, uh, I'm just going to give a quick uh, summary as we're walking. We're going to pick up here and start walking with our mobile broadcasting unit here. And forgive me if this is a little bit shaky. I will keep the camera as steady as I can. So right here in front of us, in front of us you can't you can't see it, but uh, right here is the trail. This part of the trail is going over uh, past uh, Walmart and over towards some farmland. And this part goes over to the boat landing in the park, city park. Um, right on the other side of these trees here is the upper Iowa River. And that is why DM2 and uh, Mom are even over here in this area. Uh, we believe that they probably have been building on this nest for about two years. Um, we always wondered where DM2 took off, um, and we wondered where where he would go. Uh, uh, and this was the year, this was 20, 2019 was the year that uh, we think they probably first started building on this nest. And that was the year that we had the black fly problem. And the eaglets fledged or fell and fledged early, and they went into rehab. Uh, so it was an early year. DM2 pretty much, we didn't see a whole lot of him after that. And 
they always kind of disappeared over the hillside, kind of coming over this area. Down Trout Run Creek, and Trout Run Creek runs into the upper Iowa River right over here. So uh, we believe that for like maybe about two years now, they've been working on that nest. And we started to see some nest building in N2B in November of 2020. And things were looking good. Um, unfortunately, we had some delayed construction work that was happening at the hatchery. And, you know, we always wonder those limits of how the eagles handle uh, human activity. And mom is a lot more likely to be able to handle that than DM2 was. And we'll never know. We can't talk eagle talk. So we won't know exactly why they came over here. But uh, they did decide to come over here and spent less time over at N2B in the hatchery. And they raised uh, three young here this year. D 37, 38, and 39. We know that there's three. We've got some great uh, camera uh, photographers that have been keeping us up to date. So we're going to head over that way right now and we can talk a little bit about what happened with the eagles and we're going to listen to see if we can hear any of them. And watch out for bicyclers too. So while we're walking here, I guess uh, you know, one thing that we got a biker coming. Move left. This morning we were cheering them on when they came by. Like the Tour de France. Right. So this is a dead tree that we'll take a look at. And we're hoping that they, we're hoping that they basically will come back to N2B. I mean, that's that's what our our hope is. We don't know what's going to happen, but typically eagles won't stay that long in the dead trees. And if we're lucky, that's going to be the case here. All right. Back live again. We just got out to, uh, walked out the trail and we got to the corner here. Um, if we look forward, we can see, uh, well, some dead trees in the distance. Um, right in the center of where I have this screen right now is the uh, nest tree. And we've got a spotting scope. I'm going to be real quiet here. We've got two fledglings, one in the nest and one in the dead tree. It's an adult in the dead tree. Okay, an adult in the dead mm -hmm. tree. So we'll be quiet. Heard a little food begging cry there from one of the young. So as I mentioned before, right when we got out here, on our tour this morning, both uh, mom and DM2 came and then some of the young had found them and were looking for food. So um, just, uh, uh, you know, we're on the trail, we kept walking and uh, down this way is the, uh, the dog park, uh, the city dog park along the trail. We've got somebody coming along here. Um, so a little bit more about the story here. Uh, let's talk about uh, the eagles. I think where we left off before, we talked about how uh, eagles set up shop over here in this nest, and we thought that they were taking about uh, maybe two years to build on this thing. Um, we knew that they were someplace, and Sue and Benny Bruling alerted us that they had been watching this nest over here, and it looked like it was active, so we started spending some more time looking at it, and sure enough, what we've been doing uh, in November, December, and January was basically uh, coming out here and watching to see when the eagles would show up and then verifying with the camera and other people over at the hatchery whether or not uh, they were actually at two places at one time or not. So by just deduction and absence and presence between both sites, we pretty much verified uh, when we could see them on camera over at the hatchery that 
and identify them. When they would leave, uh, we would see them show up over here, and they were flying off over into this direction. So uh, we did verify that they are indeed Mom Decora and DM2, and so that's uh, where that part of the story uh, ended. And basically, we've been documenting this nest. Uh, we've got some walkers here if you guys want to make some room. And we might have bikers too, so so we'll make room. So I'll just mention here that we've got a spotting scope set up here with a tripod, and that's basically how we've been monitoring. Some folks have been using their own cameras with uh, good telephoto lenses, but uh, you can get a pretty good shot of the eagles. I might try to see if there's any chance that we can digiscope with this webcam. I don't know how that will work, but uh, we've been doing a little bit of that. But uh, um, we are on public property here. I just want to mention to people and remind people that the nest is on private property and the access to these nests and to do what we do, it all depends on relationships with property owners and, and you know, what happens there. So uh, always be respectful of property owners and don't trespass. Um, like I said, we're on public property here right now and we can see a portion of the nest and a little bit into the lives of the eagles right now when they're not at the hatchery. So, so we've been keeping up. Uh, we know that three eaglets uh, were, uh, three, probably three eggs were laid, and that was pretty much what, what mom decora, that's been her norm. And then uh, they did hatch, all three, so we've had confirmation from videos and photographs from everyone that three eaglets did hatch from the nest so that's where we get d37 d38 and d39 uh, and now we see uh, three eagles at any one time uh, up to three eagles so it looks like they've all fledged they've been out of the nest tree and they're in the stage now where the parents are leading them further and further from the nest they're they're learning how to well they've been begging for food for quite some time that's one of the things that we do is just listen for eaglets that are are looking for food from the parent and they can get quite aggressive if you guys have been watching our decora north nest you'll notice that as soon as food is brought to the nest or any place close or they will chase the parent and they will basically uh, attack them for that food um, they do have crops, so they can go quite some time without eating again, but uh, um, you can tell when they're a little bit uh, hungry, <laughs> hangry fight maybe, each other for right, and they will fight each other and you'll see the mantling and all that. Um, so right now we have, I think as we mentioned, we have uh, in the dead tree, uh, it's really uh, pretty hard to see with this. Let's see, who's my person with the remote can if you can? Let's try zooming this in all the way. And you have to point it at the front of the camera. There we go. There we go. So we are looking. Actually, you can see two trees. And then in the center between them, there's something that looks like it's sticking up. That's actually the nest in the tree. The quality with the brightness here. Uh, there's what looks like a little pinhead sticking up. That is the nest in the tree between two other trees and it's dead so we're not seeing those branches like we do be between the other trees all we're doing is seeing a little uh, uh, dot there which is the the nest if we pan over just a little bit into the space between the trees probably can't we won't be able to see this detail but there's a dead tree there that uh, the parents sit in and the young are in so the upper Iowa oxbow is here it's a beautiful area Lots of waterfowl. Um, we can see, you know, why eagles and other raptors come to this point of the river. We can back back out. Thank you, Ken. So let's see if we, are we trained on, on the nest with the eagles? I'm just going to see if there's any chance that this camera might be able to pick up. This is called digiscoping. And it looks like it might work here, but I'm good. I 
thought I saw a tree in there. We tried. If I had the brightness settings, I was able to check that. Might be possible to do something like that. Well, we tried. We've got a Regal uh, 100 uh, millimeter scope here with uh, variable, I think it's 27 to 67 zoom on here. So we got a pretty powerful scope just to see that. Um, well, hey, this was for you guys. Any questions that you guys have about mom and DM2 and you know what they're doing or how they got here? Do they do any banding of these eagles? Or so banding of the eagles would require us to find a place that they would come to where we could try to trap them yeah. uh, and get a hold of them and ban them. In the past, with the young, what's happened is we've trained them at the hatchery to come to the fish. So we train them at the hatchery to come to the fish, and then we've got a noose trap called a pad M. Pad M, or Pan Am, it kind of depends on who you talk to. Pad Am, and it's, it's got little nooses of fishing line, about 50 uh, pound, and that noose will tighten on the on their their ankles and their toes and and that's how they'll come in they'll get caught on those and then we'll run in there and i think you guys have probably maybe seen uh the special on iowa public television and other uh broadcasts that we've had of uh the trapping process so but how old would they be when they come to the typically uh we will do that uh, anywhere probably about three to four weeks after they've fledged oh, so okay. um i think it's been about three to four weeks after they fledged and then we watch them for quite some time that after that exciting. before they disperse in the fall. Yeah, they disperse at an average of, I want to say, 75 days after fledge or 186 days overall. So um, at least that's Mark. the eagles that Brett has studied from Decorah is what we've seen. So Amy Reese is answering that question there. Thank you, Amy. Uh, so as you can see, we're you know watching some of the, the fledglings. Um, and one in the nest and one uh, we could turn the scope and look over at the dead tree and see them but uh, um, any other questions uh, about uh, the decor eagles I mean it's great that we're seeing them at the hatchery it's it's great that we're seeing them at the hatchery um, we just this morning everybody reported that mom and DM2 were in the maple tree uh, and then uh, they were around until right before 9 o'clock when we came over here. Mom flew over. DM2 must have already been here. When we got here, they were both in one in the nest tree and one in the dead tree. And then the young came after our morning visit here. So, uh, you know, they're around. This is part of their territory. They're still hanging out in in uh, Decorah. They're they're not usually in the nest this time of year except for the reason that they're here with young so just the fact that they show up at n2b once in a while is good so um you guys can do the best you can to get the message to mom and dm2 that they're supposed to nest in a live tree back at the fish hatchery where all those fish are you know it's it's uh it's that real estate saying it's all about location, location, location. Fish, 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 right? All right. Well, I think that will end our N3 visit broadcast. Thanks for joining us. Um, I think our next uh, broadcast is going to be at 3 o'clock this afternoon. We got River Valley Raptors with their a variety of raptors. It's going to be very interesting, and that's at 3 o'clock Central Time here later today. So... Thanks for joining us.